Good morning. It's February 11th, 2024. Wanted to share this word with you today. No matter what happens, no matter what takes place today, be ready to stick your foot into the Jordan. Be ready, packed up, and full of faith and trust in the Lord, no matter what takes place in this day. Remember to walk in faith and trust. I want to read something to you. This is out of Joshua 3.13. Joshua 3.13. As soon as the priest... And then it says, set the foot in the Jordan. Its waters will be cut off. That takes a strong amount of faith. Let me read this to you. The Israelites were not to wait in the camp until the Jordan was opened, but to walk by faith. This is out of 2 Corinthians 5, 7. They were to break camp, pack up their belongings, form a marching line, and actually step into the river before it would be opened. If they had come down to the riverbank and then stopped, waiting for the water to divide before stepping into it, they would have waited in vain. They were told to set foot in the Jordan before its waters would be cut off. We must learn to take God at his word and walk straight ahead in obedience, even when we can see no way to go forward. The reason we are so often sidetracked by difficulties is that we expect to see barriers removed before we even try to pass through them. This goes along with the rapture doctrine. Those who feel that they should not have to go through any tribulation like the apostles or the disciples did, the churches that are teaching you that a rapture bus is arriving and you will see no trouble, go back to sleep sheep. These are the same ones. that are not teaching you the truth about the what, what the Word of God says. They want the barriers to be removed before they even try to pass through them. They want to be removed before any trouble comes. As a brother of mine recently said, the rapture bus has got four flat tires. You need to read the Word of God. You need to soak it in and st instead of listening to the shepherds who are leading you astray. But whatever happens today, whatever happens today, what was placed on my heart to share with you as I read the devotional this morning was no matter what happens today, be ready to stick your foot in the Jordan and cross over. No matter what you see. Remember Psalm 91? I want to read this line to you. It just came to mind. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is thy refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Remember that. I just pray you remember that. There, are, You guys know that we had a live stream yesterday, and if you don't, there was hardly, there was 40 some odd people who received the notification, which is outlandish. I mean, they're not sending notifications to anyone. So a lot of people didn't even know uh, to come on because they received not no notification. Okay. So if you go to Sabbath Seekers channel, we have to uh, jump over all the hurdles here. If you go to the Sabbath Seekers channel and you go to the live tab, there's the videos page, yes, but there's also a live tab. There's also a shorts tab, a community tab. But if you go to the live tab, you will see all the live streams. We usually have them on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yesterday's was very informative. It was a very um, beautiful time of fellowship, despite uh, the weeds that came up. The Lord rebuked those out, and we had a wonderful time of fellowship together. 
but I want to keep um, Kimberly, who made a comment in that live stream. Please go see her comment and pray for her. She is having surgery on Tuesday. She spent six hours in pre-op yesterday. Please go and support her in prayer. Her comment was on the live stream from yesterday. Please go show your support and pray for the sister. She's having a serious surgery done on Tuesday. Please keep Steve's mom, Nancy, in prayer. Um, please keep Steve in prayer, too. His whole family, they have lost uh, two family members uh, recently. And I went through that in 2017 um, with my mom and my sister. And he just went through it with his dad and his sister. So my heart goes out to him. And uh, just please keep Nancy in prayer, his mother. Keep Matthew and Lisa in prayer as they are on the road again. It makes me want to sing a Willie Nelson song. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> and don't chastise me and send me to hell for singing a secular song, please. Get over it. Um, Matthew and Lisa, we pray for you as you're on the road again. <laughs> And um, we love you, and we are keeping you in prayer. As always, there was a other prayer request. Uh, please continue to keep a friend and sister Annie and her family in prayer, her sister Erica, her sister Lisa, her daughter Gina, her son Eric. They still battle with illness. They still battle with illness. So, um, again, we are receiving in the bread basket requests uh, every day. We have... Bread basket needs that come in. Many of you know about that. You can visit the um, the description uh, drop down box, I guess it's called, uh, if you want to support the people with emergency needs. But we are still um, trying to. We haven't had any donations come in for their family as of late. But Eric is still ill, and they still need care. So um, if you want to uh, give a gift to the bread basket and put um, Eric. Eric's family on there. Um, we definitely need to send them another gift soon for them to be able to get the, the medicines and everything that they need. Um, so, again, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Any other information, you want to email me, you want to email the bread basket, you want to, whatever you want to do, see the description box below. Sending all my love, prayers, and hugs out to you all. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Walk in faith and trust in the Lord and let your faith be seen and exercised in this very hour that we live in.